Well, good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you're ready to face the day. Um, I got in a little after one um, this morning and I've got a service to do here in a little while of a family, a uh, little lady that passed. And so I'd ask you to pray for that family. I'm going to read some from Then Sings My Soul. This is book number three, The Story of Our Songs. How Deep the Father's Love for Us. 1995. Some people hearing How Deep the Father's Love for Us think they're listening to an old hymn, one that seems surprisingly fresh. That's because it's a Stuart Townsend hymn. Stuart grew up in the home of an English, English vicar, offers this story behind writing it. <clears throat> I'd already written quite a few songs for worship, but all in a more contemporary worship. But I distinctly remember getting this feeling one day that I was going to write a hymn. Now, like most people, I am familiar with hymns. They form part of my church background, and I love the truth contained in many of them. But I don't go home at the end of the day, uh, at the end of a busy day, and put on hymns. So I don't think of hymns as where I'm at uh, musically at all. Nevertheless, I been meditating on the cross and in particular what it cost the father to give up his beloved son to a torturous death on a cross and what part was in it what part did i play not only was it my sin that put him there but if i'd lived at the time it would probably have been me in the crowd shouting with everyone else, crucify him. It just makes his sacrifice all the more personal, all the more humbling. As I was thinking through this, I just began to sing the melody and it flooded in the sort of way that makes you think you've pinched it from somewhere. So the melody was pretty instant, but the words took quite a bit of time reworking things, trying to make every line as strong as I could. I was worried. It was perhaps too twee, too predictable. It was only when I began to use it in worship and all sorts of people of different ages and backgrounds responded to it positively that I thought that it might be a useful resource to the church at large. Now I'm finding it gets used all over the world by all sorts of churches, and I'm excited by that. But it has perhaps branded me as an old man before my time. It was fed back to me that a conference, a couple who loved the song, were surprised to hear I was still alive. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, attempt to sing this song for you. How deep the Father's love for us. How vast beyond all measure that he should give his only son to make a wretch his treasure how great the pain of searing loss the father turns his face away as wounds which mar the chosen one bring many sons to glory behold the man upon a cross my sin 
upon his shoulders. Ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers. It was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished. His dying breath has brought me life. I know that it is finished. I will not boast in anything. No gifts, no power, no wisdom. But I will boast in Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection. Why should I gain from his reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. There was a little lady I met when we were in Myrtle Beach, when we lived there. And she had said to me, our church is about to close its doors. We have five people. She was in a rest home, an assisted living facility. I said, where's your church? Well, it was a little river community church. And about two years prior to that, two weeks into being at Myrtle Beach, I saw that little church and I said out loud to myself in the car I was driving, I could pastor that church someday. Well, two years later when she told me that, I called whoever it was, talked to them, and Teresa and I went to that church and began to pastor, and we were there for 18 months. I got word yesterday from um, Sister Wilma Ray there in Little River that that little woman, her son, had died of cancer yesterday. And when they went to tell her, she apparently had a heart attack and she passed as well. So can imagine uh, making your way into heaven the same day your mother or your son does. But I'd ask you to pray for that family as well. God, we love you. We thank you. We thank you for the sacrifice that you gave for us. And we pray that you would bless today in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. See you Monday.